So this is Linux Mint and the version is 22.1. This is the welcome page. And you can see this page has rounded edge. This is first steps. Documentation. I'll click on the start menu. This is all applications. Accessories. Graphics. Internet. Office. Sound and video. Administration. Preferences. Places. Recent files. So I'm going to right click the desktop. I'm going to select change desktop background. So these are some of the backgrounds. So this version is cinnamon. These are the wallpapers. I'll click on settings, and these are some of the background settings. So I'll open the system settings. I'll select teams. So the style, appearance, and color. And these are the styles. I'll click on dark team. This is light team. This is mix. I'll leave it at dark. I'll click on advanced settings. I can change a mouse pointer. So on applications, I'll click here on the button. And I have all these options. There's also icons. And there's a lot of choices here. I'll click on the desktop. So there's add and remove. So I can download any one of these apps. So on settings, there's miscellaneous options. Show icons in menus. There's scroll bar behavior. This is scroll bar width. So on system settings, it's listed by categories, appearance, preferences. Hardware, Administration, Sonder Preferences. I'll open the Nightlight app. And there's Color Temperature. I can adjust this. I can schedule this from Automatic. And I can specify a start and end times.
I'll click on the shop down icon and this is how it looks. I'll click on the logout icon. So I'll open input method. These are the options. So input methods are used to write symbols and characters which are not present on the keyboard. They are useful to write in Chinese, Japanese, Korean, Thai, or Vietnamese. And here you can install the language support packages. I'll open the Applets app. So there's Manage and Download. For example, calendar, I'll click on the gear icon. And I have these options. I'll click on download. And I can download any one of these apps. I can also get more info. I'll open the gestures app. So these are the settings. So in system settings under administration, I'll open the login window app. And I can configure all these settings. There's users. There's settings. I'll open the software sources app. So this is the mirrors. These are optional sources. So there's PPAs, additional repositories, authentication keys, maintenance, and these are some of the options here. You can remove foreign packages, downgrade foreign packages, remove duplicate entries, purge residual configuration. So I'll open the software manager app and I can search for software apps here. For example, Discord. I'll click install. There's a flat black application. So I'll open the notification tab. These are some of the settings. I'll open the song settings app. So these are some of the device settings. Here's over amplification.
So I'll open the files manager folder. So I'll create a new folder. I'll right click the folder and I have these options. I'll select compress and there's a drop down tab here so I can compress it with any one of these extensions. There's zip. I'll right click the folder, select properties, there's permissions, emblems, there's share, so I'll open the file renamer app. I'll open the terminal app. So I'm going to check the kernel version. I'll run this command. You name R. So the kernel version is 6.8. So I'm going to check if VLC Media Player is installed. So VLC Media Player is not installed and I'm going to install it. I'm going to run this command. I'll type sudo apt get install VLC. So this is the backup tool app. So I'll open the users and group tab. So I can add a user here. Is that a groups? I'll open the power management app. These are some of the power options and extra options. So on the lower right side, this is the date and time. This is the date and time settings. I'll right click the clock, click on configure. And these are some of the settings. I'll right click the speaker icon, click on configure. This is the song settings. I'll click on the speaker icon again. So if I have more than one media player, I can select launch player and choose from here which player I would like to open. This is the network icon. So I'll right click the panel. I have these options. I'll click on panel settings. This is the panel height. This is the panel appearance, general panel options. So this is just a quick overview of Linux Mint 22.1. So I want to thank you for watching and I thank you for subscribing.